If you're in the minority of people who still watch television, first of all, thank you so much. But also, you might have seen these freaky ads. Why is New Zealand still adding fluoride chemicals to our drinking water? Probably to strengthen our teeth. What do these countries have in common? None of them fluoridate their water. Yeah, but they also have terrible teeth. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing against Russia, Iraq and Pakistan. They're just not known for their supreme levels of dental hygiene. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly, in New Zealand, the issue of adding fluoride to our drinking water has come up again. There's two sides to the argument. There's the people who want fluoride added to the drinking water. And there's the people who don't want fluoride added to our drinking water. The main group that's opposed is called the Fluoride Action Network. They're the people who made that ad. And the group that have got fluoride briefly taken out of the water in both Whakatane and Hamilton. And look how that turned out. Okay, that was too far. I apologise to Hamilton, not to the fluoride people though. My point is, is that we need to start listening to scientists and nerds. The people who actually paid attention in school, we need to stop listening to crackpot websites like stopvaccines.com or bushdid911.org or stevewonderisn'tblind.geocities.net. Oh my God, he totally caught that mic stand. And that can only mean one thing, not actually blind. People are idiots. Take it from me, I'm a member of that website. That's why central government needs to grow some balls and take control of major health decisions, such as the fluoridation of water, and take it out of the hands of the special people in local council. G'day, I'm Jim Shambhal. That's all for Guy Time this week. I'm gonna go floss.